What's up? Link. Hmm, do I know you, Olive? Is that really you? When did you get out of from the castle? I'm so ashamed I've been on watch duty here this whole time and I didn't see you at all. Mm. I've really got to get serious about my training. Captain Hoss doesn't know that you are back, does he, Link? You should report to him right away. He's on the gate tower at the top of the hill, past the lower gates. Mm. I'm sure the captain will be just as surprised to see you as I was. Okay. Hoss. Hey, we don't have... No. Yeah, I think it's still that close to this. Come on, where are you going, bro? I don't think I ever tried to come here with the boss. Hey, this area is off limits while we conduct our search for Princess Zelda and Link. Hmm. You can just come wandering here like that. Link, it's you. Uh, I'm sorry, I had no idea that you had returned. Wait, if you're back then does then does that mean we don't need to search the search party anymore? Uh we should go talk to Captain Hoss. He's leading search efforts here from the first gatehouse up ahead. You find it at the very end of this road. Do we have? Uh, we don't have uh, the castle tree map anymore. Hmm, I kinda want to enter here. Wait, no, it can't be him. I can't allow anyone to pass here. This area is restricted only to those involved in the search for Princess Zelda. Well, that's my job. This is by direct order of Captain Hoss. If you insist on passing, you need to per need permission from the captain. He should be in the first gatehouse up at the end of this road. Okay, so I gotta make some tests now, don't I? Where do you think you're going? You're not permitted in here. If you're not getting past me, Captain Hoss gave me strict orders about who's allowed in. If you insist on passing, you need permission from Captain, he should be in the first room. Okay. You're not seeing anything. Huh? Uh, we've turned up nothing in here that will help us find the princess, unfortunately. Uh, you're the spitting image of Link. Really? I bet if Captain Hoss saw you, he'd be so startled he might even fall off the gatehouse over there. He's on top of the gatehouse. Uh, no chests inside. Oh yeah, let me take a look here. From the first trailer... Oh yes, I was right from the first trailer. It wasn't floating. There was a pillar beneath. Did you come up here to help look for Princess Zelda too? Yeah, me and a few others had the same idea. We all owe a great deal to the princess. We were hoping to help anyway. But the captain is way up on top of the gatehouse there. Doesn't look like he's coming down anytime soon. We just showed up without being, being asked, so uh, best to stay out of the way until we can help somehow. Uh, we were standing on the edge and staring in his tanks, seeing the a chasm in person is far better than hearing about it. Chasm? Whoa! Oh, cool sword! Ah, it's from a Bokoblin. Why would you do that? Just up and start with someone on the edge of the void. This chasm is nearby, nearly bottomless, just like all the other created by the upheaval. Personally, I do not want to hit the bottom of a nearly bottomless chasm. Even though it scares me, I can't stop staring to it. Oh yeah, I, I can't even safely explore down there because if I can't, if there isn't 
some butt of water down there. I won't be able to land without the paraglider. Uh, just like I thought, the weapons here have all the K2. I wonder if there's there are any intact weapons left anywhere in the world. What about the weapons? Ooh. Hey, it's a new face. Ooh. During the upheaval, all the weapons, swords, spears, claimers, you name it, suddenly decayed. We, I've explored many regions in search of weapons that might be might still be intact. But I found none. At this point, I'd be surprised if there were any intact weapons left in Harrow. <clears throat> There's also real pain to repair, so the best thing to do is strengthen them. Torch! The torch will stay lit once ignited, but if you put it away, the flame will be extinguished until you light it again. So, you has. No, Swato. I finished up search around here, and I'm ready for my next instructions. But Captain Haas is kind of on edge. I don't want to bother him. Okay, that's probably the captain. Oh, oh sorry, but I'm in the middle of something. Hmm. Link, is that you? You're alive. And all in one piece? No. It looks like. Does that mean Princess Zelda is safe too? What a relief. Hmm? Hang on, you're alone? But you heard the princess calling you, calling out to you and you should you help with the search? I see. Uh, maybe I don't. I'm a little confused, but that doesn't matter right now. What matters is continuing your search for the princess. Hmm. Uh, I am relieved to see you come up here and help us out through. Oh, help us out though. We needed some good news. The sheer amount of gloom has gotten overwhelming. Our work carries on, but we've been a bit dead in water. In the water. Oh? Captain, it's Princess Zelda. What? Already? Already? Hmm? Princess Zelda, she's safe. Wait, what? Mm? You saw the two link? You saw Princess Zelda turn into a light and fly off, right? How strange, this, this is an emergency situation. Mm. Why would she live without saying a word to us? We need to let Pearl know about this as soon as possible, considering what we just witnessed. I think it makes sense for us to withdraw. But I will take, it will take a bit. Please, you must tell Pura about what happened here as soon as possible. That was weird. Oh. That was most certainly Princess Elna. We must inform Pura about this as soon as possible. Mm. Link apology for the burden, but could you be the messenger and let her know? There's a lot of us up here, so it'll take some time to withdraw. Thanks. Thank for the help. Oh. Thorin. Is that the, oh, I think that's the guy that was looking for the Great Fairy, wasn't it? Uh, Princess Zelda dissipating into light. I don't understand. Oh, I don't have paraglider. Oh yeah, and those those undergrounds are connected to the cast. Well, there's probably just a hole in the middle of the hall. The hallways. I must put down here. Oh, we could hit. Okay. Yeah, uh huh.
Alright, let's... Oh, let's just go see some here. Let's see where the princess was. Hmm. It's a fire force. Well, did you find anything? What? You're telling me Princess Zelda was at the castle and then she transformed into light and flew off? I've gotta say, your stories are always so wild. But if you're telling me that's what you saw, then I've got to believe it. Hmm. Sounds like we need to change the, our approach. Since the princess flew off, maybe we should redirect our efforts to dig into the upheaval. For now, at least. I've I already got a few regions in mind to start exploring. I better we'll pick up clues about where she flew off as we look around. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, you still got the pearl pad, right? Can I see it for a sec? We'll give me the camera now. Mm -hmm. It's a little worse for wear, but seems to be functioning fine. Map, 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 uh-huh. Alright, ah. oh, I forgot that before we can look at your overall map of Haru. We need to add map data from right around looking laning, lookout laning. And for that, you need our Skyview Tower. Joshua, what's the status of the Skyview Tower right now? Uh -huh. Let me see. Outwardly, the structure looks to be complete. Mm. Oh, but the travel point is still undergoing fi final adjustments. Hmm. The travel point needs tweaking. Uh, sounds like I better get cracking. Mm -hmm. Sorry about this, Linky, but I'll fix it up quick, so just hang tight. In the meantime, why don't you rest up? You must be pretty tired. The emergency shelter is just a spot for you. It has free beds and a kitchen, so it's well stuck for getting some rest and rejuvenating yourself. If you want more info... Ah. Talk to the soldier who's watching over everything from the center, right where the emergency shelter enters is. Uh, if you need clothing for your travels, mm -hmm. you should go to Bub's shop. I'll be over by our Skype Tower, so when you're ready to head out, just let me know. Yeah. Alright, Joshua, let's work out our final preparations for the tower and I'll handle the travel point. Check it. Joshua, you're in charge of the switch. Okay, Doc, you can cut on me. Um, where's the shelter entrance? Oh. Sorry, I didn't greet you properly when we first arrived here, Link. I was just so relieved to see you. My name is Corpse. Okay. I've been in charge in managing lookout laning. If you have any questions about the place, any at all, come right to me. I'll answer as best as I can. Ah. Now please allow me to open up the emergency shelter. Also, it's closed. Hey, it's me, open up. Ah. This underground vault used to be an emergency shelter for the royal family. Also, this was here already. We now we're making constant use of it. Feel free to make yourself at home in our vault. Use any equipment you want. Good, free gear. Hmm. Hey. Ah. Link, welcome, welcome. Hey, I know that guy. Call me Monte. You will find me employed as a gatekeeper of this fine establishment. 
This is the emergency shelter where all are welcome. Please stay as long as you like. Emergency shelter. Ah. Indeed, this place was originally used by the royal family as a safe ha haven in times of need. It's quite old, so we've been fixing it up as we go, you see? At this point, we stockpiled some supplies and I find it to be downright cozy. What are you doing here? Ah. I, Monte, have been tasked with the illustrious duty of watching the entrance of this renowned emergency shelter. My tasks involve taking orders from my superiors regarding when to open or shut the entryway. A noble task indeed. Hi. Watch your footing when using the ladder. Can we get further down? Oh, we can get further down afterwards. Uh, if only one could go straight through the ceiling rather than using a Tarsome ladder, <laughs> but I digress. Hey, yo, I know you. Mm. Garini. Garini, I didn't remember the name. So, you're Link, huh? You know me. We open a... Uh, a shrine together. Some of the soldiers were just telling me. As a simple man for learning, I'm a little starstruck. We don't see a lot of celebrities back home. So, hang on. If even this guy don't know me, does that mean that uh, the canon story is that we didn't pass through every shrine? But Link has more than full health and full stamina at the start. Ah. Lurling, Lurling Village, it's a fishing town in East Nekluda, far to the southeast. It used to be a popular resort thanks to its sandy white beaches and gorgeous views of the sparkling sea. Ah. Then we got attacked by pirates. I'm really interested in those pirates. And now, no one's living there, let alone running the shops. But listen to me getting all gloomy. There is an upside. If not for the pirates, my wife and I wouldn't come here. I should just shut my trap and enjoy the charms of local lightning. Mm. Say, did you see those books they have here? I tried reading one the other day. Complete gibberish. How can Zona's survey team make sense of that stuff? Well, weren't you translating? Oh, am I mistaken? Aren't you the guy who was translating Oh Chica script? Hey you know, Hey I know the face and any face I know is the face of a friend. Uh please Link help yourself to anything in the shelter it's all yours to use as you see fit. Mm. But don't you dare go making a mess of this place and kicking up dust. I spend so much time cleaning here and there's still endless amounts of dust. Mm. Now, where does all this dust even come from, anyway? Well, there's too many people. Oh, and there's a quest there. Mm, today, in the Lucky Club of our Gazette. Huh, the Temple of Time. The Floating Island. Cool. Mysterious shrines appear all over the world overnight. Shrines appear everywhere due to shifts caused by the upheaval. With Pura as their leader, the Zonite survey team begins thorough investigations uh, the world over. Mm -hmm. uh, guess this paper is a little old. Mm, I don't know, but this kind of thing reminds me of Megamino Legends. I'm not sure why. Mm. Mm. Uh, remnants from the Zona civilization have started popping up all over. And this calls for the Zona survey team. Mm. Well, it, sh it should call for that, but. Instead, they've got me hanging out here until further notice. I even spent lots of hours memorizing everything in the Zona Survey Team book over there. Yes, the best thing to do now is to stay on top of the news in each region. So, I'm even more prepared when it 
the call comes. Mm -hmm. Freezing temperatures bring feathery shivers to Rito. The Rito are all over the newspaper lately. They can they live all in the Hebrew region, if I recall. It's in the snowfields of northwest Haru. Some surveyors browse about going there because of how cold it is. What all they need to do is bring proper gear and supplies for cold resistance. Yeah, can I get some gear like that here? And go to the Rito Inn to sleep in a luxurious fluffy down bed. Mm. Uh, I know it's important to be on standby here, but I wish they sent me out on a survey already. Uh, there's a second time I hear about that, so I guess I'll go to Rito Village first. See, yes, as a nice survey team, three big ideas. Uh, read as a nice service team, three big ideas. Serving shrines, reserves ruins that appear due to the upheaval with strange dome like protrusions. We're calling the shrines. They're believed to be from the Zona civilization, but exact details regarding the shrines are unknown. When observing shrines as well as falling ruins, take note of their shape, the sky above, and the surrounding environment. Serving chasms. Large holes appeared all over the world after the upheaval. They, are, they release gloom and are known as chasms. Gloom is physically harmful to people. Direct contact should be avoided. If the effects of gloom are making you feel ill, evacuate from the chasm immediately. Before entering any chasm, be sure to ask permission from Joshua, the leader of the chasm service. Our training's purpose, we of the Zone Service team, were founded and tested by Princess Zelda to study ruins and ancient documents. Through the lens of archaeological understanding, it is her hope that we will uncover the deep history of Hyrule. Due to the upheaval, many ruins from the Zone civilization come crashing down from the sky. We have known very little of the Zonai, but we may now have evidence that their culture once flourished in the sky above. Our chief is executive Stauro, the first individual in the world to find a clue to the silver in Zona scripts. Ooh, where he found that? Our current service are wholly focused on learning more about the Zona civilization. Research results are shared out to specialists at the base in Kakuriko village. Ah, they mentioned that a huge chunk fell there as well. Mm. We should check on, on Paya. Oh, Wordsworth. Uh, it's, the it's the same Harulian script, and yet it's so different from our modern language. Uh, I still have a lot to learn, huh? Hmm? Don't tell me. Based on your stature, physique, and the sixth right arm, you must be Link. My arm is already in use. Uh, am I right? Pura has told me so much about you. I am Wordsworth. My research specialty is Ancient High Rulian. Hmm. And by Ancient High Rulian, I don't mean the text found in the Ring Ruins. Ring Ruins? The Coliseum? What's the Ring Ruins? But something different. It's what we call the language used at the time of Harvest founding. Our modern language is built on that foundation. Uh, yeah, yeah, the alphabet from Scarlet Sword was similar. Is that what he's talking about? Mm. These books here are written in that ancient tongue. They look like gibberish to your average Hyrulean. Are you curious about ancient Hyrulean? I don't have anything to show you as things stand now. Mm. But I'm sure I'll someday have results posted and ready for all to see me at the lab in Kakariko Village. Okay. What's your request? Oh. Romano. Uh, hey, are you new here? You may scoff, but I know a fresh face, face when I see one. I can say that because I'm a newcomer too. Uh, my name is Romano and they put me in charge of cooking for some reason. I want to say something fancy like, for today's menu, we have a fruit and mushroom mix that will wrap you up right up. Oh. Yeah, I was really looking forward to saying that, but I'm plumb out of apples. If I... also, oh, you're the new cocoa. If I don't have any most important ingredient, 
if I don't have my most important ingredients, say goodbye to rich food flavor. Hmm, my nose detects an aroma. A sweet, tangy, pleasant aroma. Could it be? Do you have an apple? Take this. Wow, you're really generous. I'm giving you first crack at some grub. Hold on a sec. Mm, I'm calling it Burman's special fruit and mushroom mix. Looks tasty, doesn't it? Fruit mushroom mix, the dish contrasts the sweetness of fruit with the savoriness of mushrooms. I like to make a big deal out of it, but anyone can make it. All you need is an apple, a mushroom, and a pot. You should try making some. Just that. <laughs> Since you're bringing me the ingredients, you really saved my bacon. Do we have bacon? Now I can give the, the search party plenty of energy to keep up the hunt for Princess Zelda with a single weapon. Yeah, if I need to cook, feel free to use this here pot. Oh. Hey. Hey, is that you, Link? Uh, I'm being nosed down, so I don't know what's happening around me half the time. It's This is pretty involved, uh, so I'm going to keep sitting here while I range on it. Ah. You might have heard, but when the upheaval happened, all the weapons decayed. I've poured so much energy into trying to fix them, but it's been no use. Decayed? Ah. Yeah, just before the upheaval, gloom began pouring out of the ground. It clung to the weapons, pulsing as if alive. We watched as the weapons rotted into pieces right before our eyes. Uh... Well, they all risk losing their arm and stuff, because that's what happened to Link and Master Sword. It was all pretty wild, and I don't understand how it happened at the time. At a time when Haru Castle can float, they begin up trying to make sense of most things. Ah. Oh yeah, in case nobody has mentioned yet, you're welcome to the weapons over there. Though there probably won't be much of use to you since they're, you guessed it, decayed. No, oh, this one isn't. Oko Reaper, an average sword used largely by travelers. The blade has decayed. But it can still serve its purpose. The blitz. Okay, no, yeah, the description was from the Traveler Surge. Okay. Um, let's get that. Hmm, Atmos. Hmm, oh, it's silly. Pardon me for being lost in my work here. This map. Tends to get all my attention. Oh, cool map. Oh. Mm, are you interested in the different peoples of Haru and where they live? That's my entire field of study. When I'm out on a deployment with the monster control crew, I spend hours poring over our maps. As such, I'm the most knowledgeable in local landing about Haru's various peoples and their towns and villages. It's various peoples. Mm. Aside from us Hylians, uh, there are four other peoples here in Hyrule. The Rita, the Gauros, the Zora, and the Gerudo. Aren't sometimes the plural of Goron, Goron too? And sometimes the plural of Zora, and Rito, and Gerudo, Zoros, Ritos, Gerudos. When they use each? Each live in a different area and have their own unique traits, whether it's soaring in the sky or fishing on rocks. Oh. We Highlands also live in villages that reflect our unique cultures. The Sheikah are renowned for their wisdom. In fact, our most prolific researchers are among them. Oh, so now you just include a Sheikah as Highlands? Uh, the, leaders, the leader of local Lane, Pura, is from the Sheikah tribe. Uh, those villages. Mm. Haru has eight major places that its various peoples call home. Oh, good. Uh, 
Huh? Look, Kalani is located here in Central Harbor. Uh, up northwest of here, it, there is Rito Village in Hebra. Uh, then there is Gerudo Town that is located to the southwest in the Gerudo region. You find Goro City to the northeast in Yeldin. Uh, travel a bit farther east and you come across Terry Town in Akala. Not too far. Oh, are we missing some water there? Not too far from there is Zoro's domain, with, that's within the Lanary region. Oh. Continue to the southeast, Haru, you come across a cluster of Highland villages. These are within an area called Nekluda. Within the cluster, you find Kakariko village, where the Shika live. I hear the village leader is quite lovely. If you're seeking a tranquil spot, Hateno village is worth a visit. Uh, I also hear it's become Haru's center of fashion. Hmm. Finally, there's Lurlin village. It's a wonderful gateway destination. Uh... Many of the aforementioned towns and villages have been deeply affected by the upheaval. If removing even a fraction of the monsters helps soothe the peoples of Haru, then that's what we'll do. Our monster control crew is on patrol each day, gathering information from everyone everywhere. What about you? Hmm. I work with the monster control crew. Uh, we're tasked with protecting everyone from monsters. There's been an uptick in their population since the upheaval. But I'm not really the most skilled in combat. So instead, I use my knowledge of the areas to help determine where we should make deployment. Goodbye. There's been an increased number of unfamiliar monsters since the people as well. Be careful out there. Unfamiliar monsters. Oh, we have one here. Oh, but I, I don't have enough, do I? No. And I have Seek of Shrines, okay. Oh. Link, right? Uh, you're really the Link guy, aren't you? Uh, I heard folks talking about you, and your face matches the one on the poster. Oh, sorry, you wanted a bed, yeah? You can go ahead and take whatever empty bed you like. Ah. Nothing's sleep. Talking uh, is particular audible here, so you probably want to bet a little further, further from here. His physical condition has been deteriorating see, ever since he investigated one of the chasms. That's be, de, despite how long he's been back, which has been quite a while, he still hasn't made much of a recovery. Chasms, oh. the behavior created massive openings across the lane of most the chasms. In fact, there is one nearby just beneath Haru's castle, and another to the south of Lookout Lane. But if you go plumbing those deaths, you come across plenty of gloom. You touch that stuff, and your health will take the turn for the worse. Ah. Anyway, there's a young girl named Joshua who's been heading up investigations into the chasms. Despite her age, she's been leading the charge. Pretty remarkable, if you ask me. Uh... No, 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 not going near the chasms anymore. Uh, nasty gloom, every, it's everywhere, making everyone sick, making me sick. I'm glad I ate that yellow plant stuff from the gloom specialist. Any more gloom, and I'd be canoeing down Old Death River. Uh... Worth my tail off for Joshua. Kid runs her, goes around pouring rubbish, she loves research. Me, I'm sick to death of chasm research. At least I'm starting to feel better, but I think I'll lie low and keep lying here. Keep lying here. Okay, go anybody else? No, I guess not. Well, let's chill more. Okay, yeah, okay, that's what I wanted to heal. 
Oh, hang on. Since you mentioned it, guy. Okay, so now... Yeah, I don't oh. have money for the clothes. What's the latest? What's the latest? I don't think there's anything we need to need help with currently. I'm sure that's because you're here now, Link. Oh. So I'll think for checking out what's here in the forest. Busy, I'm also many persons on the equipment, local lane. Okay. What, what, what? Oh. Something about Hudson. As you come and go, you might find new facilities popping up here. Thanks to Hudson Construction. Uh, it's nice to see this place change into your needs. Uh, oh, it's open now. Large search not decayed, issued to the royal family's guards, it is tuned for skilled users and yields a powerful flush rush during a perfect dodge. Hmm. <laughs> Did you see me? Hmm. If you put this here, then that goes there. No, no, that's not quite it. Uh -huh. I should do it. Mm -hmm. Hey, Link, you all set? I just wrapped it up here myself. The trial point is working fine now, or it will be once you do your part. Hmm? Hey! We're ready, Joshua. Pull the switch. All these Kaiju Towers have now been activated. Yeah. Okay, Link, your turn. Ah. Go hold the parapet over the terminal. Alright, the Skyview Tower is now active on your map. That means you can now use this travel point to get here anytime, instantly. The same is true for every Skyview Tower you add to your pro pad. <laughs> Impressive, right? Mm -hmm. The Skyview Towers are about more than just traveling quickly. Their primary function is to survey the area, or more simply put, to make a map. Oh, there's an interesting cave over there. Uh, the poor pad works with the Skyview Tower and scans the topography directly onto the map. Uh -huh. Pretty great, huh? Hmm. Only thing is, you need a paraglider when you're scanning. It'll take a lot of skill, and nobody here has what it takes. Do you give me one now? To be honest, that's why we haven't tested it out yet. We needed you. Which brings us to this. Paraglider. 
The sighting given to you by Pearl lets you ride the wind and glide through the sky. Press X in the air to activate it. And what did you do with my previous one? Ah. Right, it's showtime. Let's start with the test. You got a test scan. Mm -hmm. Now, this it's time for our very first test launch. I mean, our first test. Just step over there into the circle and find me afterwards, alright? Huh. I will be serving from the research lab. Yeah. When the test scan is over, we'll have a final briefing on the search for Princess Zelda. Uh, and I'll also need to update your map with the places where the upheaval has wrecked the most havoc. Best of luck. You're holding a flute? Why? Okay, that's a thing from the trailer. There's a charger. Oh, this guy map too. Oh, I thought you'd be separated. Oh, come on! I, I have to check. I have to check. Oh, I don't have that much stamina. I won't be able to check it. Uh, should he rest when he's just falling? Huh. Let's check the town. Oh, and I can probably use that again to go to the sky. Welcome back. That was some good gliding up there, Link. I expect nothing less. So, how did it go? Did you get a proper map scan? Uh -huh. Good. The map's crucial to our search. There are skyfall towers in every region in the world. You want to make a point of visiting them all. Yes. Right. Let's talk about the upheaval. It's affected more than just the castle. Reports of other strange phenomena have been coming in from all over Hyrule. Let's take a look at your map. The first report comes from Hebra to the northwest. Next up is Eldin to the northeast. The Gerudo are reporting trouble in the southwest. And finally, there's Lanero to the east. So, the first, next, and finally, so there's a more proper order to follow here that that wasn't in the first the strange phenomena are concentrated in these four regions hmm. i can't say for certain but i've got the nagging suspicions that we might find out more about princess zelda by looking into this phenomenon hmm. hey doc i don't know if this is helpful but i heard something weird the other day it was about someone who might have seen Princess Elta in Rito Village over in Hebra recently. Hmm. That is pretty weird, yes? Generally speaking, I don't put, don't put much stock in here to say. But this does sound like it's worth looking into. Ah. Oh, and before I forget, Link, 
we've asked the Lucky Clover Gazette to help us in the search for Princess Zelda. There's nobody who knows more about the going, goings on in Harrow than them. You can find them near the entrance to Rito Village. If you go, if you do go there, you should speak with the editor. I'm sure she could help out in some way too. Mm -hmm. I'll be here directing a variety of investigations into the upheavals, many chasms in new rooms. I'll also be looking into the different villages. Someone somewhere might know what's happening to the princess. Yeah. I'm calling on you to check out the major phenomena that are troubling regions around Hyrule Link. We'll find Princess Zelda one way or another. Oh, gotta find Goobles. Goobles. Sorry, uh, I can't talk right now. There's something I gotta discuss with Goobles right away about research into the castles. Let's talk later. What wasn't that. Quest. For my part, I've been thinking about a lot about this village aside from the four regions I asked you to check out. I'm hoping to learn more about the situation there too. What other village? Mm -hmm. Kakuru village, home of the Shika tribe. It's off to the southeast in the Nepudo region. So the ruins, each shaped like a ring, fell directly on top of the village. Mm. There's got to be a special reason for it. Right now, there's only service team elites are taking on the investigation. If you want to know about the zone, you should talk to them. If you want more <gasps> info, talk to Atmos down the shelter. He can probably point you to the right direction. He helps deploy the monster control crew squads where they need it and has extensive geographical knowledge. He can tell you more about he can tell you more than I can about various research peoples. Hmm. Anyway, I can get help from the research division for this, but I'm interested in the investigation of the four regions with the phenomena to you. Mm -hmm. Oh, by the way, I talked to Ravi yet. I leave everything for a pet related to him. He was going on and on about ideas for improvement with it. This is that, and then it's this, and what have you. If I haven't run to him yet, you should go say hi. So, can you be ready now? Uh, oh yeah, they said uh, that Shika village. They did say we could see it from, from here. 